All right, so if you hear some noise in the background, the neighbors over here are having a pool party or whatever, so. But why am I making this? Why am I doing this video? I have absolutely no idea. There's no reason, but there is kind of a reason. If anyone can relate to this, and I'm sure, if not everyone, I'm sure dang near every person out there can relate to this in some fashion or form. If they're being honest with themselves. I named this video Venting Anonymous because even though I do videos on here, even though I kind of catalog my journey through this life and I do these videos and I talk about things and I, I say some things that might seem very different or strange or weird, there's also a part of me where I do not feel like I have anybody to talk to about certain things. Like I can't express myself the way I really need to while being comfortable around them also. See, when I vent my own stuff, I'm comfortable with me. But it's like the people I'm around, it's like, what is it doing to them? And see, when, 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 when you... I don't want to say looking for a connection or, but when you can just sit with someone and they can listen to you and not give you any feedback on what you need to do or should do, or they just listen to you and say, okay, is that what is really on your mind? That is that what you're really thinking? Then I'm not here to judge you for that. See, there comes a time where when you need to do this, like I was just thinking to myself, I'm about to drive somewhere where I know nobody is around and I'm about to just scream for about five minutes. I'm, I'm about to just yell and scream and just go crazy for like five minutes because there's so much stuff that builds up in me because I know that... I will be misunderstood and then I have to explain myself to most people and I have to go through this process of explaining myself and I know I'm still going to be misunderstood. I, I, I already know the whole game and how it works and it's like it would just be so nice to just sit with someone and, and just them sitting there and just be able to speak and vent honestly like anonymously and not have to worry about oh well you know you you, you you did this and now you need to do this and I know it seems like sometimes I can be preaching and I can be telling people what to do and I promise that's not what I'm doing I'm not telling anybody what to do when to do how to do because I'm not in control of anybody's life but my own so I can only do what I do but it's like when you need that time and when you need that reaction or you need that connection or you need that to vent to someone else just to kind of clear your mind and clear the air I'm not gonna lie even though I do love doing these videos and they do help and I even listen to my own videos I listen to my own videos because I need to hear myself sometimes I really do doesn't make me a narcissist and all this whatever bullcrap people say. No, I just need to do that for myself. I need to reflect. I need to be in my own solitude. But there comes a time where you need to do this with somebody and it's like, where do you go? Like, I, there's nowhere to go. This is like the only thing I know, but sometimes it just, besides when it does do something... It's, sometimes it doesn't work for me. It, 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 it doesn't release this thing going on in me. It doesn't release this like 
anger and this resentment and bitterness and like these things that I got going in me, but they're for a reason. I'm not going to explain why, but it's like if you have nowhere to go, no one to speak to or anything, sometimes you just got to go somewhere by yourself and maybe just scream. I don't, I don't know. Maybe scream. Maybe, maybe just let it out somehow. You see, it's all of us need an outlet. And this is an outlet for me. This, this is not somewhere where I'm, I'm not worried about the judgment of the world and all that. Even though I may think of it, I'm not worried. I don't care because people are going to think what people think. But, but there comes a time where you're like, look, I don't need people to think. I don't need people to say anything or whatever. It's like <clears throat> you just need a place to vent anonymously. And where does that exist? You know, yeah, you can go to NA and AA Anonymous, NA, Narcotics Anonymous, Alcoholics Anonymous, and you can vent, but it's like people are going to respond or they're going to like tell you something like, I, I don't know, give you some kind of advice or something. And, and there, there's some times where I don't need that. And see, this is why, let's be honest with ourselves. Us men, we are looking for someone that is like our reflection that we can just look across from as they're looking at us or speak to them as they're speaking to us or just sit there for a minute, talk like the old times, you know, and women are looking for that in men. But see what has happened today, and this is not me judging anybody's sexuality. I personally do not care if people are whatever they are, whatever their sexual orientation is. I'm not here to judge that. I personally don't care. I don't care. But this is why there is, I really think why there's a lot of women that are turning to women and men are turning to men today because there is this lack of communication going on and they are finding in themselves, themselves across from themselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like it's, it, I can't explain to you what I mean, but it's all you have today is, is a lot of what you have is men hating and speaking bad about women and women hating and speaking bad about men and I think the whole thing is ridiculous like yeah there's a time to say things there may be a time to argue about something but really the one that understands there's not going to be too much too many arguments there may be things that you see differently on and you might have to say well look okay this is how I do it so when I'm doing it give me my space. Or if that's what you do, okay, let me know when you're doing it and I'll give you your space if I can. And, and the same thing. But, but see, that's what we're looking for in this life. If we're looking for anything, we're looking for our reflection. We're looking for, this is why I keep telling you to know yourself, study yourself, learn about yourself, know your good and bad. Know your evil and righteousness. Know your ups and downs. Know your joys and your pains. Know everything about yourself. Because if you're not honest with you, then someone's not going to be honest back with you. If you're not honest with yourself, nobody's going to be honest back with you. That, that, is a, that is just the law of how things work. Because if you, if you can't trust somebody, then you're not going to mess with them. And do I have some trust issues myself? Not with myself, I don't. And <laughs> there's no need for me to say uh, that I don't trust some of the world and stuff. I trust myself. Even though I have done some things that I don't like that I did to myself, that's because I just, I got off course. Things happen, but I still trust myself. 
And if I ever go back on something that I say, I will say, Nate, you fucked up. You fucked up, Nate. Now you gotta, you gotta admit it. You gotta say it. You gotta talk about it. You gotta say, you screwed up, Nate. <laughs> See, and th this is a concept that if the world does not understand this concept, it's going to always be blaming and judging and saying it's your fault, none of it's mine, you're the reason for this and not me, you guys are this and not me, and it's like when you understand yourself and you accept yourself and you start realizing the thing that makes this vessel this vessel Something changes. Something happens in your life that I can't describe to people. And yet, is this concept understood is what I'm saying. And I know just by the way most people carry themselves, the way they talk, the things they do, that I know that I might be able to talk about some things, but then when I start getting deep, when I start going to the depths of my essence, to my very being, I'm talking about to the dungeness pits and to the highest highs of mountains, the highest universes out there, the, 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 the furthest solar systems and galaxies away. When I do that, <laughs> see, that's when people run. That's when people hide. That's when people start lying. That's when people start denying. That's when people start acting strangely because they, they're not discovering themselves. They're, they're not discovering the innermost parts of them that make them do what they do, say what they say, see what they see, feel how they feel, the things that happened in their life that made them the way they, they are, their upbringing. The, the, their, their environment. Listen, I can't get any more honest than this. I, I can't get any more honest than this. This is like, this is so brutally honest that it scares me. It terrifies me. Because I'm, I'm letting myself be known. Yet, there's still things that I keep to myself because I have to keep to myself. But I'm, I'm being honest with everything I'm saying. And it's almost like people don't like honesty anymore. They, they don't like real shit. They, they don't like uh, things that are like, this is how I am. And I'm, th this is how I am. This is how I am. I don't care what you, 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 them, they, the whole world. I don't care what they think. This is what I like. This is how I'm going to do it. This is my thing. This is, this is the way I see it. And if the world doesn't see that, then I can't do anything about it. <laughs> it's like you got to be willing to break the ice. And you have to be willing to heat the heating pad to an extreme temperature at times. You have to be willing to be ice cold and very hot in your approach there's a time for all these things like Ecclesiastes talks about and listen do I mean to be so deep do I mean to be so serious I might seem so serious but I'm really not it's me loosening up it's me actually talking about the things that are going on inside and the things that go on in my life but yet there are some things that I just do not discuss with people, that I do not talk about with people, that I know <laughs> I'm going to be misunderstood. And, and if I do have some kind of something there that's holding me back from doing that, then I need to stop doing that to myself. If I have to let people go and I have to just veer off and it might hurt, it might suck, I might say, why is this happening to me? Then so be it. Because how am I going to find, how am I going to be with 
the frequency and, and the thing that I resonate with and the thing that keeps me alive and living, the thing that I know that I'm going to do, the thing that I'm going to stay loyal to, how can I do that if I'm not saying it out in the open to everybody and not just on these videos? You see what I mean? And I know this is all a part of the process. It's all a part of the process of understanding and learning things for myself and, you know, on and on and on. But I really don't feel or think or know of a place that is even called Venting Anonymous, like where you can go to just spew your guts out to other anonymous people but but see nobody wants to be known everybody wants to hide themselves away from each other everybody wants to stay in a corner and say nah i can't get i, I can't get too close I, I can't allow this to come into my life because i know what happened before I know and see I'm I'm literally th this is the same thing that I tell myself. But the thing that holds us back from doing everything that we really want to do that we need to do is fear and a lack of knowledge. A fear and a lack of knowledge. And it's kind of funny how they say Respect comes from admiration and fear. I agree with that. I, I agree with that in a sense. Because when you are feared, most of the time you're being brutally honest. And when you're admired, there's something that is in that person that you're like, I understand that. I relate to that. That is the human experience that is going on. That's the experience of all sentient beings. That is the experience of this whole thing going on. See, I'm at a point. I'm at a cross section. I'm at a standstill right now where I don't even know how to approach this anymore, honestly. I'm just freestyling this. I'm literally just going by blind, if, if, if blind, I'm going to say blind faith, if that would mean anything in this life, that's literally what I'm doing and I can't lie, it, it scares me, it terrifies me because I feel as though I think that I'm so different from a lot of the world and I don't say that to beat another person up or beat them down or to spit on them or to ridicule them or it's it's not like that <laughs> it's not like that how it may seem it, it's not how it seems how it may seem it's not how it seems all the time but anyway, I didn't even want to get into this. I didn't want to start talking, but this is just how I am. This is how I talk because this is just what has happened to me in my life. And when I start talking like this, it goes off the radar. It, it just, it repels the mosquitoes. It, it, it puts an odor in the air that people are like, What's that odor? I don't know what that is. I got to get out of this room. I can't smell that odor. And I'm using that as a metaphor. It, it's like, that's not a fragrance that I'm used to. So I have to go. And it ain't like I'm trying to keep people captive. It's just, we all need something sometimes. We all need some kind of outlet or connection or somebody that understands us, whether we want to say that or not. Because pride will never say this. 
And listen, there is a time that I think that you need to be proud of something, but yet again, be aware of your pride. Be aware of what you're being proud of. But I think there's a time you got to be very tough and bold and you have to be very, very strict in what you're doing or you have to be very... It, it's like you know that you know and you have to say this is what I stand for and I'm not standing for nothing else. And then there comes a, a lack of knowledge. There comes a kind of separation there where people don't want to understand each other. Then they go to war. They want to hurt. They want to kill. They want to get rid of. They want to become an enemy of. They want to do all these things because it's a lack of understanding. It's a lack of knowledge. And I'm not saying that I don't like to indulge in friendly competition like maybe a beat battle or let's see who can write something that someone resonates with more but it doesn't make me above you we're just going head to head because we want to see each other we want to see the best for each other we want to see in you what I see in myself and I want to see in myself what I see in the other person And, 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 and in explaining this, it, it's almost like I'm giving away too much, but it's almost like, how can it be understood if it's not talked about? How can it be understood if nobody says it or discusses it or, or brings it up? How can people know about it? They can't. But I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and in me knowing this, Going about venting it, there's times where I'm very standoffish and I keep it to myself. And then there's times where I will present it and I will let it be known. But there's always a reason why I do what I do because I know that it is the best thing for myself. It might not be the best thing for others, but it doesn't mean... That we can't talk about it or we can't say, okay, even though we disagree, it doesn't mean that we have to uh, do something absolutely uh, insane here. Uh, if we don't see eye to eye, okay, well, we're, we're, that, that, that wasn't meant to be. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I'm done. I don't want to keep going because it. sometimes I think I overdo it. I don't mean to do that, but... That's just how I am. That's how I am. So anyway, what I'm saying here is everybody needs an outlet. Everybody needs to have a reflection. Everybody needs to know that somebody in the world <laughs> understands what they are saying to themselves and others. Even if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100,000. It's nothing but a number. It's a number thing. And sometimes numbers mean something. Sometimes numbers don't mean anything. So I guess to infinity and beyond, I don't know. Buzz Lightyear, I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm going at the speed of light and I can't slow down. Like I, I just, I just feel like I'm so beyond some things that I used to know. I just feel like I'm on something new and it, it, it's, it can be poetry I, I, I don't know what this is. It can be uh, just a discussion. I have no idea what this is doing. No idea. None.
No clue at all. I'm a blind man doing time. What's the one song where the person's going, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm this and I'm that. It's like a contradicting song. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a loser, but I'm a winner. I'm a, I'm a deadbeat, but I'm something. I'm a jug of wine, yet I'm a freaking star in the sky. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe it. I really don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm wording this, but words can't even describe it. Words can't even describe this. So anyway, I did my best with words, but see you later till next time. And do what you do, because that's destiny. Take care of yourself. And just be aware if you can. That's all. If you can, just be aware. Later.